Hello, hello. <laughs> hello. Hello and welcome to a new video from Patalong in Thailand. This episode we stay with local people next to a waterfall and we will watch the sunrise on one of South of Thailand's most beautiful and unseen viewpoints. So I hope you will enjoy this video the same I enjoyed my stay in this rural area with amazing people. We made our way to Num Lung Camp, a homestay in Patalong province near to the mountains and we saw a lot of cow on the way. So we are still in Patalong and we are in a very nice quiet rural area here where they have a lot of waterfall and we just want to check in now in our bungalow this looks also pretty nice but it's in this small village and they also told us that they have another bungalow on the waterfall what we check out now this is the way to go to our homestay the anti at restaurant said it's only one kilometer from the start from the restaurant but uh, to me, it looks like forever now. And you had a way, guys. One kilometer in Thai language. It's five kilometers. I think it's more like ten to me. This is it, oh. Are we finished now? I think this is it. Okay. And, uh, I need to get out. We just arrived yeah. at our house here on the waterfall. เดินกําลังทําไปอะไรไปอ๋อทําไปอันนี้ใหม่เหรอคะใหม่กว่านั้นสิบวันยังทําไม่เสร็จนี่ <laughs> Well, this is the waterfall area near to our bungalow here in the jungle of Patalung. Wow, this area is stunning and so private. Normally the bungalow is always fully booked but we are super lucky because someone cancelled it before and uh, they asked us if we want to stay at the bungalow and at the waterfall and the owner is super friendly. He invited us to eat with them in the evening. Pretty lucky that we found this amazing place. It's perfect to relax here and to take a dip in the waterfall. The campsite is also huge. It's just open and look great. Here's like the campsite. Directly on the waterfall. Open. Ten, 10 days ago and this is new area so i'm the first foreigner who stay here you are the first foreigner now toby about to fry drone but he has to have a permission first okay the owner built this wooden house by his own and also the whole campsite which is impressive we feel directly like home after we arrived sadly he doesn't speak much english and i don't speak thai so i translate a lot over beer In the morning we want to go to this viewpoint here but uh, with the scooter it's not possible to drive up there because the road is very narrow and have a lot of stone. The owner he asked us if we want to come with him and he drive us to the viewpoint and to a coffee shop now. This area is it was rural area before. Nobody have known this area before. It's okay. become popular because of the viewpoint. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. 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 <laughs> so we just arrived here at the viewpoint. <laughs> it's very beautiful and uncle very nice. <laughs> oh wow. So <laughs> amazing. Wow the view is insane. 
This viewpoint is called Kuan Mon and the views up there are really epic. There are accommodation if you want to stay overnight and also a cafe if you just want to chill and watch the scenic views. So the owner, he just bring us to this viewpoint here and it's insane, the view is like incredible. Sorry, cap. <laughs> oh, soda. So this viewpoint is called Kuan Mon and it's also a coffee shop but it's very beautiful, they take care a lot of it. Northern Thailand might be your first choice when thinking about visiting the mountains, but the south also offers many scenic areas you shouldn't miss. We watched the sunset here and went to bed early for the sunrise tour the next day. So at 6 a.m. in the morning, we just wake up and we make us ready to going to the viewpoint now and see the sunrise. The uncle is waiting already outside I think he wake up very early every day and if you hear the waterfall, yeah, I can imagine. Why you wake me up so early? Huh? 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 Because we are going to the viewpoint. Oh, I forgot. So we are on the way now to the main viewpoint here. What is the name from this viewpoint here? It's called Kwan Nok Ten. So in Southern language, Kwan is mean mountain. So they call every viewpoint or the mountain as Kwan, but Kwan Nok Ten means like bird dancing mountain. Bird dancing mountain. A bird dance mountain. Bird dance mountain. Okay. Because I wanted to fly the drone now, and up there are too much people. So we will change to the other viewpoint again. This is called Pu Rung Jang Viewpoint. It actually is sunrise viewpoint. This is the lower one. There are another higher one up there. Two, three spots for watching sunrise. So as you can see from here, there are a bit of sunrise already. Okay. When the sun gradually rises over the top of the wonderful range of the mountains that are in front of you, you will see gorgeous colors of the sky and clouds which are gradually changed and a lot of mist covering the area below looks like white ocean. You will feel as if you are in the north of Thailand and not in the south where most places are famous for beautiful beaches. If you experience the sunrise at Kua Nok Ten by yourself one day, I bet you will love it for sure. Kua Nok Ten viewpoint is a gem that you shouldn't miss when you come here. You can grab a drink from a cafe nearby and chill out with a panoramic view of gorgeous mountain ranges. We are on the first viewpoint now, the newest one. And the sun came up already. I flew the drone two times. So here's the sunrise. After it was getting hotter, we decided to go back to the camp to have late breakfast there. We just came back from the viewpoint. It was stunning. Baby, how was it? It was nice, it's foggy a bit. Saudi cup. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Patalong is essentially a landlocked province, one of the only two in southern Thailand, so no ocean but many waterfalls and beautiful rural areas with viewpoints. All in all, for me Patalong is a hidden gem and I really love to travel here. the waterfall area in the morning. And also if you visit this place you can go camping here. You can put your tent here directly on the waterfall and you also can have breakfast together. It's very really luxury. This is what I call luxury. Because you don't have anything or anyone to interrupt your holiday or like you're resting time, you know, you can wake up early, go to the real place and hang out with the owner himself. So, and actually his wife cooked us food, breakfast or breakfast, she prepared, she went to the market buying something for us. And this is a simple portrait. Porridge, rice soup, steak. 
Sticky rice with black bean. Black bean inside. Where is the black bean? What? Oh, I'm on the other side from the waterfall. It's a little bit tricky to walk here. But I think it's worth put off my shoes. Because it's only sand here. Wow. If you come to this homestay, just check out all the areas because it's it's worth to visit. Watch out for snakes on the waterfall. There is always a high risk that you see some high venomous snakes here in Thailand on the waterfall. So keep watching. And I said you walk there already. I walk very, very far. Um, nice. Yeah, he, he says come back again. Yes, have to. <laughs> okay. You have to tell him thank you for everything and I appreciate oh, it a lot. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell button that you don't miss out on new adventure on my YouTube channel. Peace.